go through your day, I'm sure at times you think about your health and you work on taking really good care of your health, whether it's how you exercise or how you're eating or, or all sorts of, of different ways, but are you thinking about your financial health? Or are you wondering, how do I really take care of my financial health? I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. Uh, over the last 12 years, we've been serving families in Southern Arizona and teaching how to handle that physical, chemical, emotional aspect of health. But what are you doing financially? Are you making the three biggest mistakes when it comes to our financial health? We today have Scarlett Vogelham from New York Life Insurance Company to tell us what those mistakes are and what we can do about them. So, well, thank you, us. first of all, for letting me come and to speak with you today. The number one financial mistake I think everyone makes, at least at some point in their lifetime, is spending beyond their means. Now, it doesn't mean that they don't learn from it and they don't overcome it very quickly, but that is for sure the number one thing I see. Budgeting has become something that's kind of an art form, and people often forget. They think, okay, you know, I've got these set monthly expenses, and I know what those cost but they forget the unexpected expenses. They often think that if they live within those monthly expenses, they'll be just fine, but they forget to put away the money for what if something breaks in the house? What if you know we want to go on vacation and we don't have a monthly amount that goes towards that vacation? Even if it's only a once a year vacation. The number one thing I see, Christmas. Christmas is huge. Christmas. And most of the time, we get very caught up in it and we don't even have a budget to start with. So that one is huge as far as spending beyond your means. You have to have a budget for Christmas and you have to stick to it even if you really get caught up in that spirit of giving. Wow. So that is something that I feel like everyone kind of, at least at one point in their life, is a victim of. Oh, yeah. yeah. The second one I would say is probably just hand in hand with that, too much debt. Now, that's very easy to uh, get caught up in. Obviously, our credit card offers are astounding. Sometimes people don't realize the rates involved. They don't realize the terms of that contract. But also just getting into too much house. How many times do you talk to someone and they are in a house and they never put any money down? You know, that's what our last financial crisis was all about. So if you're not ready to put down 20% on a home and you're spending 25% or less of your monthly take home, towards that mortgage payment, I would say that you're probably in too much house. What that means is that when those unexpected expenses happen on the house, for instance, that you're now responsible for, um, it'll, it'll really mess up that budget. So that's something that I always tell people if they are you know, fortunate enough to come to me before they buy the house, that's what I tell them. That's when you know you're ready. And it can be so easy to get caught up in the well, our family is growing, we need more space, this is the best neighborhood, it's got the best school district. But unfortunately, those are some of the things that really, really get to people. The third one is obviously going to be saving. Um, saving is just crucial, and oftentimes we don't save enough, but we don't save with, with certain things in mind. Now, what I mean by that is we have to have an emergency fund for a true emergency. Like, I got disabled, I can no longer do my job. And you often hear people like me say, it's got to be three to six months, okay, of your living expenses. Well, what about those things I just talked about, the vacations, um, the unexpected expenses on the house or the car? If you don't have a set amount going into a savings account every month for those, when those happen, that's going to blow up the budget anyway. That's not the emergency fund that I'm referring to. That's a whole separate fund. So those are, I think, the top three financial mistakes. Obviously, I think everyone can benefit from coming and talking to an advisor, no matter how much or how little they earn. That's great. If anyone wants to sit down and talk with you about, about their financial situation and how to save, how to, how to stop making these mistakes, how would they go about contacting you? Well, and here in Tucson, downtown is our office, but you can certainly call me and we can meet wherever might be convenient for you. My direct phone number is 620-5347. Great. Thank you very much. So as you're going about your day and your week, Think about those three mistakes, um, spending more than we have, um, having too much debt, um, what was not the third one, enough. and not saving enough, um, and, and, and work on solving those. It will have a huge impact on your financial health. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and I hope you have a great and healthy day.